So you want to spend more time modding Skyrim than playing it? Then you've come to the right place. I'll show you how to install mods for your new adventure, including 3 essential base mods, and give you a quick insight into modding. You need to download some kind of mod manager. I'll be using Mod Organizer 2 because it's basically the god of mod managers. To get it, open your internet browser and go to Nexus Mods, link is in the description. This is your gold mine for mods. The first thing you need to do is make an account. Click register in the top right corner and create your account. Every 5 year old can nowadays register on free robux site so you can do it too. Once you are logged in, select the game you want to mod. There you have all the mods for Skyrim SE. See, I told you it's a gold mine. Click the search bar type mod organizer 2, click on it and it will redirect you to the mod page. Every mod has this page with its description, images, and videos. Click on the files and download one of the two main files. I prefer the archive version so I will download it. There is no difference between the two files, this one is just extract and go while the other one has exe installer. Once it's downloaded, store it somewhere on your PC, but not on desktop like I did, it may cause problems, extract it and you are Gucci. Now you can delete that 7-zip file. Open the extracted folder and find modorganizer.exe. You can make a desktop shortcut so you don't have to search for it on your computer every time you want to make a woman's boobs larger or bouncier. Launch the mod manager. Since it's your first time, you will be jump scared by this window. It's an instance manager, it's basically a profile system where you can have profiles for your Skyrim SE, Fallout, and other for No Man's Sky without having to move all your mods somewhere else if you want to play a different game. The portable instance is your mod organizer folder and I'll be using it. Then you have to select the game you want to mod, it will detect some games automatically but if you don't see yours, just click browse and find its installation folder. I'll select Skyrim SE. You will be asked if you want to go through the tutorial, I'm a strong nor woman so that's no from me. Boom, now you've got flashbang by your mod manager. You can either put on sunglasses or go to settings and select the dark style. Thank me later. The first thing that might come to your mind is what even is this thing so let me give you a quick overview. On the left side, there is a list of all your mods, on the right side, there is a list of all plugins that mods add and that will be loaded. Above this list, there is a sorting button for your plugins and above that, there are tabs. The most important are plugins and downloads, here you will see all of your downloaded mods. At the top, there are useful buttons but you will use like two of them. The first one is for switching instances, the second is for installing mods, the third opens Nexus mods and the last one is the settings tab. To get started with installing mods, go to settings, then click Nexus and here click on connect to Nexus. It will open your browser. Click the authorize button. Then you can close this tab, head back to mod organizer and click associate with download with manager links. Hit OK. If asked, restart mod organizer. Now that we have mod organizer set up, let me explain how it works. Your mods will be stored in a folder outside of your Skyrim directory and every time you start the game, they will be moved from that folder into Skyrim. This means two things. To play with mods, you need to launch the game from mod organizer. The advantage of this is that your game directory stays mod free in case of any issues. Now what we want to do is download Skyrim script extender aka SKSE but before that, let me show you how to download mods. Go to Nexus Mods and here you can either search for mods or scroll down and browse for them under more mods. You can also see mod categories and filters. I suggest going to popular mods, all time, and looking here. We will be downloading the unofficial Skyrim special edition patch which fixes like billion bugs. Go to files and click mod manager download. This is why we associated links earlier. If it still asks you about opening Nexus links in the browser, allow it. Now the download should start, you can check in the downloads tab in the manager. You can download any other mod the same way as we did now. While the patch is downloading, we are going to install SKSE. Open your browser again and go to this link, you can find it in the description. I know that this site looks kinda like a computer virus farm but it's 100% safe. Select the version for your game, I'll download the one for Skyrim SE. When it's downloaded, extract the file. Then you can delete the original file. After that, open the extracted folder and your Skyrim installation directory. Copy all of the files from SKSC to Skyrim. You can now close the explorer and delete the extracted folder. Now head back to Mod Organizer. From this point, you have to launch the game with SKSC to load your mods properly. To do this, we will add a shortcut to it. You can get to it either by clicking the drop-down menu and clicking edit or the gears icon at the top. 
it may be possible that it has already detected SKSE and made the shortcut automatically but if you don't see it, just click the plus icon and add from the file. Then just find it in your installation folder, click on it and hit open. You can also rename it to whatever you like. Click apply and ok. Click on the drop down menu again and select the SKSE loader you just created. Depending on your internet connection the unofficial patch should be downloaded. You can install it by double clicking the mod under the downloads tab or by clicking the second button at the top. Navigate to your mod organizer folder into the downloads folder. Click on the mod and hit open. A small window will pop up. Here you can select the display name of the mod from the drop down menu or give it your own. Click OK to install the mod. The mod should be shown in a list of mods. By default, it's disabled. To activate it, tick the box next to the mod. As you can see, the mod is active and a new plugin was added. The other two mods that I recommend are Sky UI and Realm of Lorcon. When you download mods, check its description for more info and dependencies. Here you can see that Sky UI is dependent on the script extender we installed earlier. The last thing I want to show you is overriding. Remember that not every mod adds plugins, for example textures. There is a chance that two mods change the same texture. This is where overwriting comes to play. There is one rule. Files get loaded from top to bottom so mods on the bottom get loaded last and overwrite everything above them. I've added two texture replacers for standing stones. As you can see, Rudy's replacer overwrites Astral Aspect. This means that Trudy's replacer will be applied in the game. Let's say you like Astral Aspect more, so you move it under Rudy's replacer. Now Astral Aspect gets loaded last and it will be applied in the game. Now let me install some more mods and show you that they work.